today we're doing your love read this is for anyone someone rising in venus and the sign of leo and as always a general read leos i am taking in personal readings so if you guys are interested please um email me at the description box which is in the description box below so let's get into this you know i shuffle this like crazy oh, i knew it but we're going to get into your your meditative messages leos because release your ex you deserve love and i this reading is i don't know why leos you guys always have this stubbornness in your readings about opening up and i know it's because you guys are extremely loyal so when you find someone you care about and you are giving your time and energy to this is the person you commit to so there's a waiting period period here there's definitely a separation for a lot of you so to me you deserve love this is the question marks you know do you let go do you not let go or this could be your person um leo's take where it resonates i'm just going to read the energies for what they are um but there's a separation here but someone is not ready to let go and that's what i feel um so there's no movement there's like a stillness in this energy so let's get into this read here spirit what do we have for leo's in love okay so uh, wedding again so this situation you know some of you may be married i just think this is a situation where it's someone you potentially wanted you see a long term with right so you have soulmate you have attraction and then you have finance and career i just think this has to do with um where your focus is, I think Leos are very good with distracting themselves with other things. Um, you guys are very good with putting that mask on in terms of shifting your focus. And, you know, in your nights, I, uh, you guys actually are in your mind space a lot. So um, clearly there is a soulmate energy here. And as I'm saying, there's no movement because no one's, someone's not ready to let go. And if you're in this reading, I'm sure the title I'm going to title this is going to be that because there's a mutual there's still a mutual energy here and both of you are in this attraction where you, it's more about memories i feel memories with this attraction card today so there's more of, of just a lot of memories here so let's see what we have here for you let's get more energies for you so you're giving me more on this energy a lot of you are really trying to track this person back in a conversation um just a reconnection you know maybe uh, a phone call maybe a coffee date just to talk okay more on this energy for leo one more okay what do we've got yes so there's a lot of memories here yes this in this deck this card really does memories of love which is what i feel normally for attraction i don't normally get an energy of memories and today i have this energy of just like a lot of memories here a lot of memories intuition a lot of some of you really feel this spiritual connection with your person so here we have emotional distance here emotional withdrawal this is the eight of cups so clearly there's no there's a separation there's distance here there's no talking there you go leos you're very strong in your readings that's just you we have judgment in this deck it's called truth we have love begins to me this is the new beginning you guys will connect and there's still a mutual love here right so we have magician energy there will be progress and action and there goes the communication this is the eight of wands accelerate accelerated motion we do have the eclipse which will probably trigger some of that for you guys um, in terms of movement i mean you both are this very spiritual energy we saw the high priestess and now we see the magician so that means you both are highly attracting there's a pool i just feel this energetic pool no matter what so let me get this emotional withdrawal why the eight of cups five of swords i think both of you are in this energy of 
not wanting to give in. Neither of you want to give in, um, but someone eventually will. So to me, this feels like a, this, this standstill is mutual still. So maybe emotions are still high, which is, there goes you, Leo energy, the ego, power, giving more of the strength. It's going to cause resistance, right? Seven of Pentacles, a lot of waiting, and Nine of Pentacles, the self. There goes the finance and career. So this is the shift in self. So both of you, you guys could be dealing with another Leo, a Gemini, someone who may have Leo in their chart, probably very similar with your ways. But someone here, um, I don't know who it is, guys, put where it fits. Someone here obviously is more focused on their earthly planes, what they're doing, their plans. This is where the, the shift in the focus is to not think about the connection. So this is what they know how to do best. Someone knows how to do this best. And maybe both of you know how to do this best, where you think that ignoring it and not giving in is going to make it go away. Clearly, energetically, right? There's a five of pentacles. There's a desire to talk, ace of pentacles, to really, yeah, have this conversation, page of cups, to share emotions, to start over, ace of cups twice showing up here. So let's get this truth here. Why the judgment? This is obviously, to me, a desire of reconciliation. Give me more of this truth. But there's a divine intervention here. Give me more of this truth. Yeah, so there's a divine intervention here, and there is a space to gain perspective. And also, look at that Four of Cups. And I just feel there's an energy of selfishness, you know, where it's like, again, an energy of like, I'm not giving in. But at the same time, I miss my person because we've got Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, and Knight of Cups. So communication wants to come in and to heal the situation because either way, the judgment here is that no one's happy, right? There, it, or, or at least your person, guys, if it's not you, just know, but some of you, some of you are mutually in this energy where you're still thinking about your person and this Knight of Cups is to still date. I'm telling you, some of you, it's a cup of coffee. It's not... It's, it's still, I, what I feel is willing to drop the burdens of whatever happened and, and kind of just, like you guys are, are just open to even a dialogue. It's, it's something very simple. We'll give me more of this Knight of Cups. Wow, justice, the High Priestess again, and the death. And I feel this is about resurrecting. I don't have to do um, reversals, but this is about being fair here, right? Bring, bringing justice. And someone intuitively knows that you guys can change this. And again, it's a strong spiritual connection, justice and the high priestess. Something can change here. And look at that. The four of cups again shows up here. Someone's just causing resistance. It's, give me more of this death energy just to put you guys at ease. The hanged man. It's perspective. You know, there is a perspective. We got hanged man and four of cups again, which we saw, and high priestess again. And look at that. Bottom of this deck is the fool. So there's obviously, there intuitively you guys know you will reconnect is what I'm saying. And this space is kind of giving you guys a space of perspective because no one's happy five of cups someone's not happy for sure give me on this death give me on the death and things are changing and transforming right they're changing the way you see things the way you perceive things right giving it time seven of pentacles queen of swords so that's very still defensive energy but i still feel there's a defense yeah ten of pentacles it's just going to be slow to progress. That's why I'm saying patience here, temperance. There's going, there's a standstill because there's like lessons being learned. No one has really, there's not an energy because there's a lot of focus on the self. So that tells me no one's really moved. No, neither party's moved on entirely. So let's get on this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, so there you go, Leo. Leo, I mean, you're loud in this reading. I'm sorry. You're the loud one here. But your person 
Eight of Pentacles, Strength card in the Sun. Oh my God. You guys are willing to look, listen, look, look at this. Ace of Cups again with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a lot of love here and there's going to be a willingness to work this out. There's going to be a positive outcome if you guys both make the effort. Again, to me, because Leo energy is strong, but as always, you're strong in your readings, Leos. It's because the pride and the stubbornness. And this is why I said in the beginning, your readings always have a very stubborn energy to it. And what needs to be understood, we have to understand our own lights and shadow of our soul and our spirit. Because the elements and the characteristics and the traits we carry is always um, going to be mirrored back with our relationships. And so in this case, you have to know that if, you know, Leos, you guys carry hard, um, strong pride and that pride in another soul in another element can trigger another side of their light and dark aspects too of their characteristics so therefore it's just going to mirror back something you know that is a resemblance to your characteristics as well um but in a different way and i think people don't normally perceive relationships in that way or approach relationships in that way in seeing how well how is my energy bringing about change on this person and so what it brings out on this person but there's obviously love here and a desire to reconcile and I do feel a perspective is being changed here so so give me more on this awareness why the magician yeah ten of cups the world and the six of cups so you guys will definitely reconcile um, and again energetically the energy is here but Someone's got to let go of the ego and the pride. So let's see this eight of wands. Why the eight of wands? You know, this is where the conversation I feel will happen. So we have eight of wands, eight of swords. And what do we got? Knight of swords. I ah, jajai. So this is the resistance here. Eight of swords. There's a fear. This is this is the stubbornness because it's self-inflicted that the communication will not go well and i still feel is is the is kind of the ego where someone doesn't want to give in first or someone fears that there's going to be poor communication and maybe another fight i think it's all in the head here we go with the seven of cups i think it's just um, a resistance so this to me this still is a lesson to learn and someone has to like be more open to having this dialogue it's also how you're going to have that dialogue always right so let's see this knight of swords yeah queen of cups so the emotions i feel the triggering and that things will cause more conflict again with the eight of cups and the five of wands so there's still a fear here so let's see what the blockages are Remember who you are, who you are and where you come from and impacts your extra sensitive soul is both a blessing and a curse. So the fact that this is a blockage, um, a lot of you, th th this is why it feels probably like a really strong spiritual connection. One of you is probably more empathic than the other, which is where the fears probably come in. So this energy for me needs to strengthen, needs to th strengthen in someone, right? This is where the triggering starts to happen in the connection, right? The, the, the connection needs to learn how to nurture healthy relationships. I'm going to pull more guidances for, for what's happening here, right here, for this deck here with the sacred soulmates. What's more guidance on this connection? What are the lessons? What, what can we give for Leos for this energy? It's just so sad because there's so many. Oh, there goes one that fell and I didn't see it. And another one, of course. Yep, destiny in divine time. So clearly this is this is why I say things are standing still. This is going to be in divine time because it's almost like the energy is not ready and past life soulmate. Wow, you ha you've had you've had many past lives together. Woo. This is true soulmate. Like 
no lie no lie here and so that's why the the connection is strong also the spiritual connection is strong as well this is why it's hard to move on All right, so let me get a guidance for you. Actually, let me, let's pull some soulmate messages. What's soulmate and separation? What is the message this person wants Leo to know? What is the message this person wants Leo to know? Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. So there's obviously a self-worth issue here and um, someone is really dealing with their own um, their own pain, their own resistance. This is why I know this 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 energy. Um, see in the bottom. I love you more than anyone, but failed to show it exactly. And that's 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 probably things weren't being shown. Things were being hidden. That's why I feel like this energy feels like there's there's a win. Someone wants you guys like one wants to overpower the other. So again, the that that energy of like I'm telling you, Leos, you guys carry where your prideful energy can reflect back the same pride in someone else, which makes you mirror the same energy and, and create, it's basically mirroring maybe your own resistance to opening your heart. So that's what it feels like strongly here. So let's see the guidance for you, Leo. So yeah, the devil energy, the temptation here. Watch out for addictive behaviors, toxic people, and situations that don't serve you. Be cautious not to get trapped in negative cycles. Break free. There's a need to break free. In order for this, that's why destiny in divine time, This there is a, a cycle with this connection and it is past life in order for things to, to really move forward here. Um, compass. A compass guides you to go north. Your inner compass guides you to your highest good and your own path. Trust your own compass and don't doubt yourself. You're your own best student and teacher. Instinct is real. So whenever I get this card of compass, this is always to me an energy of growth within the your own self. And usually these connections provide lessons about other patterns of ourselves. This is what I'm saying because addictions is not just, you know, drinking, driving. It's behaviors, addictive behaviors. It's there's a pattern within ourselves. And again, I, I say that prideful. Um, there's a reflection here. That's what I'm saying. There's a reflection for sure. That's creating some of these back and forth, push and pull energies with your person. Okay, Spirit. Thank you. So clearly we have shadow work and that definitely, I feel until this isn't done, um, this death energy here and perspective, this is definitely shadow work to bring things into balance, to see things. This kind of will be on a standstill. So examine your shadow self to understand the parts of you that are wounded and repressed, which is what I'm saying. It's you know, addictions, temptations, it has to do with our behaviors. I feel strongly for a lot of you, this is a behavior pattern. We have release. Your body is a garden, but you've let others plant flowers in your lungs. They grow while you gasp for air, cut them off so you can breathe again. And so this is about releasing a lot of old patterns. Um, again, someone has a hard time, right? Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took it out on you. So there's a lot of releasing of what people have done to them in the past. So it's just, um, they're trapped in their loop, right? And self-love, yeah. Usually these these energies will, will trigger self-worth issues here. I've spent so long outside of my body that I've forgotten how soft and strong she really was. She welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. I honestly feel that this is a lesson of self-love for both. 
as as a past life soulmate will teach you that lesson you've had many past lives together because this is when this soulmate comes into your life to remind you who you are so however those lessons come that's why sometimes these these interactions can be short term or long term but at the end it takes a few cycles in life and soul and shadow work to understand the value and the silver lining in all of our connections and why we have people come into our lives and what parts of us is a reflection to what we felt we didn't deserve and that's why it's always about coming home to self that's why spirit is saying here right the other block is remember remember who you are and where you come from there's like a forgotten and so the soulmate is bringing you home to your soul like there's something there's that's why the shadow work it's it's a an examination examine your shadow self there's an examination that's happening with the self to remind you who you are and where you come from so um my beautiful leos i'm going to leave it there i love you please like share subscribe click that bell button if you enjoyed my frequency